Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a pot stand I made for a Trangier uh, fuel gels or esbits, hexamine, anything that will burn a flame underneath it and it'll come up to wherever your pot or cup is. You'll be able to see how I made this and at the end we'll be making a brew on it. Okay, this is how we're gonna make these. So what you're gonna need is some tools. Pliers, a pair of cutters or if you need them. Probably just, just a pair of pliers will do this job. I say that because they've got cutters on them. So the next thing you need, two barbecue skewers. You can get anywhere. You know, they're, they're, you might have some at home or you can pick them up anywhere. In the winter, I find they're hard to find in the big shops, the major brand shops. So I went to my local Asian supermarket and they sell them all year round, I believe. So I found them easily in there. The second thing you're gonna need, or the third thing after a pair of pliers and your skewers is a tin. So I have a pie tin here. If you haven't seen the new chili beef flavor, it's quite nice. The Frey Bentas pies. So you can get the lid or you can cut a tin. I've cut a tin, I save these things. So I cut one of the bases in half and what you're after is a strip. So I've just got a little strip of the pie tin which I'm gonna to use to fold around these when I'm done. It's metal, it won't um, burn and it holds secure. So a little piece of tin and I use scissors to cut this off, it's easy. Just a pair of scissors. So the first thing we're going to do is straighten these out because they've got these hooks on the end, the bends. So we just need to put our pliers in and just bend. Just try and get them as straight as you can. If you've got a rod that's long enough, you don't need to do this, do you? These aren't the longest of skewers. I found if you don't take the whole length, it doesn't make a good stand on these ones they are short. So I bought a packet of six of these. I didn't buy them for this reason. I bought them for something else. Obviously they're barbecue skewers. And then what I say you need a pair of cutters for is there's a point on there. You can probably see it's quite sharp. So you can just want to take the nip off that, nip the point off it. I mean, you can take it off if you like, right off to the point where it starts to chafer, chamf, chamfer, but there's no point. There's no point because I took the point off. I am funny. Right then. So now what we want to do is get a bend, I'd say about an inch. About an inch in, so grab it about an inch in and just do a right angle bend. I say an inch, but that's all you really need, but depends on the length of this. Now, what we need now is a burner to do our measurement. So get the burner. We know this is going to stand like this when it's done. So we need to be about an inch above, inch above the burner. So I'd say about, if you can see, about there. Honestly, it's not going to be crucial, critical. It's just about an inch, they reckon it's the sweet spot, don't they? So get about an inch above, and then try and bend the right angle the same shape to the other one. So you end up with a bend like that. Now the next measurement is to the burner. When this is on the ground, I like to put mine this way around. So that short piece is on the ground and then you get more pot support. But it's up to you, you can flip it when it's on the ground like that. Or you can do it how I'm doing it, like this. Put your burner there and think how long do you want it on the burner for the pot support? Well, it's got a bit bent again, so you've got enough to go down and around again. So I'm gonna bend it about there. 
Again, I'm not measuring with any tape measures. So this is all on a burner. You're measuring it to your burner and how long your rod is. So I'm going to measure it about there. So I'm going to grip it there. Hold it. Make sure you're looking down the angles you've already done so you don't bend this the wrong way. And then bend. So you should end up with... As you see it's not perfect but I haven't finished bending it about. This is what we've got so far. So now I'm going to bend this one to there. The way I do that is I hold it and I look down it like this. I'm trying to show this to the camera. And where you can see this one, the bottom one, you've got to try and get the pliers in line. So when you bend it, it bends the same in the same place. You'll see when I've bent it what I'm on about. You're not going to bend it holding the big piece. You have to grip the small end. Take an account for the, the bend itself. About there. And you end up with something like this. Try and get it so it's this flattish and level. You can play around with that to get how you want it. And now we have to do is copy this one to match that one. So we'll just do that quickly. We'll start with a large end. So we've got a fat bit now. That'd be better. So we need to start a bend on that. There's a little sharp, really sharp piece on there. I'll cut that off. So we've got a little recess there, it just makes it easier to fold these in now. And then we're going to put them together on top. Like I say, I use my fingers to start this off. It's tin sharp, so it's up to you if you want to wear gloves or use pliers. Can be a tricky, but you've got to get these in the right position. It's like rolling a cigarette, but you're rolling a piece of steel. So I'm going to use the pliers, but I'm not going to squeeze, I'm going to press. get that piece tucked over so we can get the other one rolled over the top right pliers It 
crushes very easily so it's not difficult to get it to do it, it's just getting it in the position you want it. And there's a pot stand finished. So you can adjust it for your pot, so you can have it open, you know, fairly far for a pot to go on. And you can bring it in for a small cup. So it's really, really useful. And it because I've done the feet at the bottom, it will swing around the burner. Isn't the burner's on the table still? So that's it. <clears throat> Take you back to the woods now. We'll make a brew on this. Thanks for watching. You can make it any size, any length. It's simple and it's very easy using stuff you've got at home or you can get access to easily. Really enjoy it, really like it. Thanks a lot, take you back to the woods. I'm gonna make a brew now with this pot stand. And it lights. We're good today because I've kept that in my pocket, that burner, with the fuel in it, so it's been warm. But it's only a couple of degrees outside. Let's have a look around it. So it's simple, just put your stand out, put your burner under it, whatever you're using to burn. It'll, burn, it'll use, work on most things. So thanks for watching. Easy, simple to make pot stands. You've just seen how I've made it. So simple with household objects. And if you haven't got these objects, you can pick them up easily. So. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to click the little bell if you wanna, don't want to miss anything in the future of mine. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.